Right. What is a notice to creditors? So in probate, in almost all states, there's going to be some variation uh, of what's called a notice to creditors. In Florida, that's what we call it. Uh, it happens in probate uh, and is, going, is a period of time that lasts for 90 days. Again, some states might be shorter, a little bit longer, specifically in Florida. It's a period that runs for 90 days. After somebody dies, right, or before someone dies, they might owe money to American Express, Visa, uh, hospital bills, the IRS, something like that. They have debts, right? They have some, they owe money to creditors somehow. They pass away. Those debts have not been paid, right? Well, when we, if, if they, if they had assets, so if they had a house, if they had money in a bank account and we've got to trans, we've got to open up a probate in order to transfer that money to his or her heirs and beneficiaries, at some point in that probate, we're most likely going to have to put a little blurb in a local newspaper called a notice to creditors just to let um, to let those creditors know that this person has died and if they want to try to get repaid for what they allege is owed, they've got to file some stuff into the probate. Now, generally during that night, so it gives those, those, those creditors 90 days. So if American Express, if they claim that they're owed $5,000, there's a whole process they have to do. They have to notify the attorney handling the probate case. They have to file some stuff. So there's a lot that's going on. They don't just automatically say, hey, I'm owed money and, and then you have to give them $5,000. There's a lot to it. Um, but they only have 90 days uh, from when that newspaper, when that kind of blurb, that notice to creditors is filed within the newspaper. That starts the clock. After 90 days, they're not gonna be able to come back to you and say, hey, we forgot, we, we didn't do this in time. Um, they're probably not going to be able to get repaid. So if you're doing a probate, uh, and that's what the notice to creditors is, one important thing about that is most of the time, again, depending on the county and the state that you're doing this in, but most of the time what I've seen, you cannot transfer any assets until that 90-day creditor period is up. So dad died, he got $100,000 in a Chase bank account. You open the probate. You start that 90-day creditor period. You, the judge is probably not gonna let you get that $100,000 in that Chase bank account until that creditor period is up. Why? Well, let's say Chase is owed $5,000 or $10,000. If you've already taken that $100,000, the court really is not, it's gonna be tough for them to get you, you know, maybe you've already spent the $100,000, right? So they wanna make sure that money is safe to pay any legitimate creditors. Then after that 90 days is up, then they'll they'll release that money. So, um, if you're doing a probate, you're wondering what the 90 day creditor period is. That is what it is. And most likely, you're probably not going to be able to get access to any of those assets or transfer them into your name until that period is up.